Hey guys, Mark here. Um, just want to give you guys an update. I'm actually one week post-op today, so um, feeling a little bit better. Um, man, I, I really wasn't expecting this much pain uh, coming home. I don't know what I was thinking or why I wasn't expecting this, but um, wow, I actually missed a dosage of my morphine yesterday, and my God, I'll never do that again. So um, I thought really I could already kind of wean myself off of it, maybe just hang on to the Percocet a little bit and manage it, but that's not going to happen for <laughs> a while. So um, don't do that. Um, that hurt like a mother so bad. So anyways, um, other than that, everything is good. Um, still a little bit on the constipated side, again, just from the the morphine and, and Percocet and everything. I actually had more of an appetite while I was in the hospital right after surgery than I do now. So I'm kind of just, uh, I'm drinking a ton of water just to try to stay hydrated and uh, just because I'm laying around a lot and I'm trying to walk as much as possible. Um, you guys can see my my old man walker over there. Um, trying to move around as much as I can and um I'm still having to work. I work from home, so I, I try to. I'm actually working in bed most of the time, so I try to get up every hour or so and just move around and and uh, just to do something. Today's actually the first day. I'm trying actually not to use the walker just to get my balance back and um, just to try to start rebuilding those muscles slowly but surely. So, um, anyway, so I was going to try to stand up and give you guys a shot of uh, my scar or the incision site um, I'll see if you guys can see this or not so let me see make sure I don't, I don't give you guys a show let me see if I can do this I don't know if, how well you guys can see that but you can see the incision and kind of there on the bottom that's where they had the, the drainage tube so um, I guess I think it's around six six inches or so so anyways, that's kind of what you would expect. Um, actually, the the incision itself, it doesn't seem to hurt as bad. I mean, it does when I lay on it, like in bed, on even on a pillow, it's, it is kind of uncomfortable. But um, I thought that would be like really tender and sore to even touch, but it's really not that bad. It does itch a little bit around the edges, but other than that, um, it's not too bad. So trying to stay on pace just with uh, my medications and I won't try to skip anymore that's for sure just try to um, do exactly what they prescribed and uh, I think really all I can do is keep a healthy diet and move around as much as possible and um, get plenty of rest and stay hydrated and I'll, uh, I'll keep you guys updated I probably well, will stop doing a daily um, uh, documentary just because there's not too much change in day to day anymore uh, whereas right after surgery everything it seems every day was different so um, but anyways I'll, I'll start doing a weekly one and um, just keep you guys updated and hopefully you guys will follow and just kind of see my progress as I uh, try to get through this and um, try to live pain-free as much as possible so anyways have a great day talk to you guys soon thanks